Is he ready for a, a three, a sub four minute mile tonight? Well, the jury might be out on that one. Terrific full house here as usual. Here are starters for the men's mile. Dahan of the Netherlands, Kalinowski, Poland, Sesemann of Britain, Berglund of Sweden, Ryan Gregson of Australia, who we've seen here so many times. He's been a winner here at the Cork City Sports. Belmore of Canada, John Travers' name you saw go through also, Gonzalo Garcia of Spain, Roy Chester of Ireland, Fiakowski of Poland, and Jan Friss of the Czech Republic. Corey Belmore is the pacemaker here. Just the classic indoor eight laps. Philip Sesemann of Britain there as well, who ran his season's best 3.44 in the 1500 metres in Vienna when Phil Healy knocked over a second off her PB time over 400. Would have been great to have her here. So it's the AIT men's mile to round off a great night. So Corey Bellamore of Canada takes the pace. So here we go, Sesemann, Berglund, Garcia, Kwiatkowski, Gregson, Chesso, Travis, Everard, Frist, Kalinowski, Dahan, and Bellamore, who is our pace man in orange. You couldn't miss it. Berglund, now we did have a uh, Swedish record set here last year by Johan Rogerstadt. That was 3.58.11. So there are prospects here for Berglund, who set the 1500 metres national record indoors for Sweden last year in Birmingham, their Grand Prix. Berglund, Ryan Gregson, Kalinowski, and also moved up quite well as John Travers looks to be in fourth place at the moment, taking out our pacemaker here. Yeah, Berglund and Gregson, who would probably be the chief. Uh, architects in the field they're nicely placed in second and third they're letting the pacemaker get a little bit too far ahead of them I feel because you lose the you lose the effect of the pacemaker if you give him too much of a gap John Travers well placed there in fourth place Rory Chesser at the back of the field but not out of touch now Garcia five Sesamon of Britain is currently in sixth position from Leeds University, Blackthorne and Blackheath and Bromley and Kent and he uh, had that great win in Vienna himself. Now way out in front is Corey Belmer at the moment, our uh, pace setter, but we don't have to worry too much about that. The qualifying times for the World Indoors no longer apply, the door shut on that a couple of days ago after everybody's nationals, Berglund still leads five to go. Ryan Gregson also going well is a Kalle Berglund. Garcia's moved up as well from Spain and John Travers is fighting hard. He's in, in reality in fifth place at the moment, taking away the pace setter. It's a little bit more sedate maybe than Corey Belmore was told to do. I think we're going to see a right old wind up now from the third lap on the pacemaker. He's doing his job, but they haven't really gone with him, so it's slow. It's slow as regards the sub four minute mile. We're gone through 200.89. They will speed up. It's a night for the speedsters. It's a night for somebody to put their stamp on this race and say, hey, I want to win this. This is mine. I'm going to take it by the scruff of the neck. Travers is running well there. He's moved up. He's, he's, he's as you say, Greg, he's, or Will, he's in that fourth position. It's Berglund, it's Gregson, it's Kalinowski, it's Travers. They're the top four as the pace setter. Corey Belmore steps away. We've got three laps to go. Travis is still up there in fourth place. There's going to be a good opportunity maybe for Gregson to pounce. He stayed on the shoulder of the sweet Caleb Berglund throughout. The 1500 metres national record hold. A bit of a gap developing too. Garcia's fallen back a little bit, but he's still fighting up there, John Travis. And that's just what the home crowd want to see. He is an AIT man. He's a Tullamore Harriers man. He's local in more ways than one. Two laps to go. And now Gregson hits the front and Travis goes into second place. Yes, this is very exciting. Travis is belying his uh, lack of let's say mild preparation that type of sharpness he's looking very sharp tonight he's right on the shoulder of Gregson John Travers can kick when he's in good form we've seen that with devastating effect on so many occasions and he's right there and as you say he's on home ground he went to AIT here he knows this place and the crowd are responding and it's just one of those nights so go on John he couldn't could he he couldn't could he there's the ball it's Gregson who leads it's Travers in second place, Berglund is back in third, it's Kalinowski in fourth, Travers the gap is beginning to increase, Gregson won here last year, it could be an Irishman with the best chance to beat him here, but the gap is extending all the time, final bend, Gregson has a look around, he'll beat four minutes, Gregson's going to win, Kalinowski's going to take second with John Travers third, Berglund is in fourth place in 50.
is Kwasikowski, the Hahn is in sixth, and 3.57.87 is the winning time. Gregson is second and a bit slower, 1.4 seconds slower than last year, but a win is a win is a win. Gregson got it, and boy, oh boy, John Travers almost did. Oh, John was great tonight. I'd say he went so far there, and he's delighted. He stuck the fist up in the air. So that's, that's amazing form, really, for a guy who's coming off longer races. That's his third race in five days. He ran a 5K, a 3K, and then a mile. It's not the way you normally sharpen for a mile, but he got the second sub-four-minute mile of his life, and he is delighted. Yeah, he's four times national indoor champion. He was the 3,000 metres over the weekend in front of a great crowd at the National Indoor Arena, which is a fast track. It's a good track. This is a great track here in Athlone. And Ryan Gregson, who's got a win here before, and a couple of wins in court. Kalinowski just edging past. Travis down into third place. Well, Travis could have won it. It was third for him in the end. But Ryan Gregson gets the win, and a good win in 357. Ninth in the Olympic Games in Rio, the first Australian in the 1500 metres final in Olympic Games in 40 years for the four time Australian champion, and that fourth title won last week in Gold Coast Commonwealth Games coming up in that stadium in two months' time. He might be a very good prospect for it. He has the kick, he has the finish, and John Travers, he may not have the win, but he's got the delight. Oh, that's great great place. That's great for him. It was a great run. Great run by Ryan Gregson, too. He's a great favourite with the Irish crowd because he's been coming so often that Irish athletic supporters are well familiar with him now. And that's a good way to, for him to prepare for the Commonwealth Games, to go, to go back there with that sharpness in his legs. He's a fine athlete, Ryan Gregson. I'll tell you, by the way, the live results uh, did go down. The wrong result came up for the women's 60 metres. Uh, the 60 hurdles didn't come up, 60 men or the men's mile. So that's why you've not seen it on the TG Cahill graphics here that we're working on. But that was a great performance from John Travers, who hopefully we'll hear from in the next couple of minutes. But what a blinding finish it was by Ryan Gregson. He knew he had a big fight in his hands. You have to praise Gregor Kalinowski as well. That was very, very impressive. That is by, I think, 11 or 12 seconds, a lifetime best indoors over the mile. For Gregor's Kalinowski, he was a 4.10 man before, 3.58 outdoors, but that was very, very good.